The butterfly effect is a term used to describe the correlation of a small event that over a period of time causes a much larger outcome. I did a short documentary on it a while back and it sparked a lot of interest, mainly because we can all relate to its principles. But you have to keep in mind that the outcome may have happened anyway, regardless of the initial cause. An easier way of putting this is by saying, if you didn't do this, would it have still happened? Would another action have led to the same outcome? It comes down to whether you think life is a series of planned events or the result of multiple paths governed by the choices we make. But you can also have a reverse butterfly effect where an event is prevented by something taking place, thus altering the future. You decide not to do something like grab a coffee, but instead watch a top five's video and that could well have saved your life. If that sounds hard to believe, then keep watching. Here are five incredible examples of the butterfly effect and its mind-blowing principles. As always, sit back and enjoy. The sinking of a ship gave George Bush the election. In 1999, Elian Gonzalez, a Cuban boy, his mother and her boyfriend, were illegally traveling to Miami with 11 other immigrants when their boat sank. Elian's mother and 10 others drowned and Gonzalez, along with two others, were rescued by fishermen and taken to the US Coast Guard. But when Elian was safely on the ground in the US and taken in by relatives in Miami, his father, who still lived in Cuba, wanted him to return, as the Cuban-American population in Miami had bad views of the current Castro-led Cuba. They were not willing to send Gonzalez back, knowing he was safer in the US. However, the US government demanded he return to his father as according to the law, he had the final say. Gonzalez's relatives in Miami refused to let him go, so the house was raided and he was taken by force. During all this, President Bill Clinton was hit with much protest over the forced invasion of the home of this innocent family. Unfortunately for Bill and his Vice President Al Gore, who was running to replace him, Florida was one of the largest Cuban communities and due to the uproar of the Gonzalez incident, many did not support Bill or Al Gore in the upcoming election. The election came to be extremely close and George W. Bush won by a tiny margin. It's always been said that had the Gonzalez incident not taken place and the boat had never sank, leaving him to be sent back to Cuba, Al Gore would have had more votes from the Cuban community and won the election. This would have caused an untold number of differences, far too many to name, but since George Bush has been blamed for the Iraq war, the deaths of millions, and even the domino effects that started ISIS, we can only speculate what would have happened if Gonzalez's boat never sank and his mother survived. Hitler is responsible for the creation of anime. There's no denying that the entire outcome of the world was affected during and after the Second World War. So almost everything that happened after you could say would be a knock-on effect of World War II. But there are some things that are more directly associated with the war itself that significantly cause future actions. One such example is the creation of anime. See, after Fat Man and the Little Boy bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, Japan was hurtled into an economic depression with the majority of the public unable to even afford food. This carried on for many years until 1952 Osamu Tezuka, a Japanese artist, producer, doctor, and activist, created a comic to entertain the public and help them cope with day-to-day -day life. His main goals were to inspire the Japanese to get back on their feet and become a leading country. He did this by selling his comics at a very cheap price so the lower class could afford them. Fast forward a few years and Japan escapes the emotional and economic depression more and more people are creating similar comics and the anime and manga world is born. Had World War II never happened, the bombs would not have been dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This would not have driven Japan into a deep depression and inspired Osamu to get the people back on their feet through his entertainment. Napoleon's Hemorrhoid On the 18th of June, 1815, Napoleon Bonaparte, military leader and first emperor of France, was to lead a battle that would define the future of his political power in Europe and France's future. It was the famous Battle of Waterloo and Napoleon was not victorious. It was due to a number of ill-fated decisions leading up to the battle, such as Napoleon's poor choice of supporting staff, 
But one of the biggest contributions to his defeat was the delay in his opening assault. You see, the initial battle plan was to attack the British army led by the Duke of Wellington at around 9am. However, this attack was postponed by two hours, which gave Prussia enough time to reach Wellington and his men and double the defense power. Had Napoleon commenced at the planned 9am, he would only have had to face the British and then Prussia separately that day, instead of fighting them both together. So why did Napoleon delay the battle by a few hours? While the exact reason is not known, some have suggested bad soil conditions, but one of the most widely accepted views is that it was all down to Napoleon's hemorrhoids. Napoleon suffered a few health problems, but none of them slowed him down and caused as much distress as his severe case of hemorrhoids. The story goes that a few days before the battle at Waterloo, Napoleon's doctor had no leeches to relieve Napoleon's pain. Instead, he administered laudanum, a strong narcotic. This made Napoleon drowsy and did not subside the pain, which kept him up the night before the battle. Exhausted and in severe pain, his orders were not as accurate or thorough as they would have been. It's an interesting theory, and it may sound bizarre, but we know with almost certainty Napoleon did have hemorrhoids, as it has been written by his brother. Now the question is, if he had the leeches, or in fact had prevented the hemorrhoids in the first place, would he have had a better chance at winning the Battle of Waterloo? Hitler's Assassination I have talked about Hitler's close call with death on more than one occasion. The main one was when Henry Tandy aimed his sights at a young Adolf during World War I, but decided against pulling the trigger. Well, this wasn't the first time the outcome of the world could have been much different had Hitler been killed. In 1929, he was making a speech at the Sport Palast in Berlin, a speech that was expected to last a few hours. Well, the story goes that one SS guard who was on duty at the arena had planned to assassinate Adolf before he had become chancellor using explosives planted under the podium. But the guard needed to use the bathroom, thinking he would have more than enough time to detonate the bomb. However, when he went to the toilet, he found himself locked in. Unable to get out, he could not detonate the bomb and Hitler left the arena to live another day. The authenticity of this story is hard to confirm, but if it's true, it shows how one small action could have changed the outcome of all of our lives. A top five's video possibly saved someone's life. Now this is a different one. There are lots, in fact, billions of butterfly examples I could use, and I may do another video or turn this into a series, but I wanted to include a more of a personal story. It's only short, but it is pretty insane. It's a story from Jeremias from Finland, and he wrote to me saying that watching a Top 5's video could well have saved his life. He was working his usual security officer shift and was sitting in his patrol car in a parking lot. He decided he wanted to go to the gas station and grab a cup of coffee, but just before he pulled off, he had a notification that a new Top 5's video had been uploaded. He decided he would watch the video first, then grab his coffee, but 10 seconds into watching, on the road he would have been on at this point had he not stopped to watch the video. The driver of a truck had fallen asleep at the wheel and ended up in a ditch right on the opposite side of the road, right next to the parking lot. But had Jeremiah not decided to watch the Top 5's video before getting a coffee, he would have been right in the path of the truck. He believes he would have been seriously injured or even killed had he gone to get the coffee first. This is a truly insane story and it puts a completely new meaning to the notification squad. So that's five examples of the butterfly effect. I hope you've enjoyed, and if you have any especially interesting butterfly effects in your life, then feel free to share them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.